Formula One returns to Interlagos once again with a stage set for what promises to be another classic Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel famously clinched his third championship here in 2012 and just four years later, Max Verstappen treated us to one of the finest wet weather drives of all time. It's an unusual anti-clockwise race here at Interlagos where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7 mile circuit. Two very fast sections bookend the famous and highly technical Sector 2 where getting a good run out of Jun Sao into one of the two DRS zones will be key to any overtaking prospects today. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. It's the owner-driver then in pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have... Gasly, Verstappen. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Daniel Ricciardo and Hamilton. Bottas, Albon, Aitken and Esteban Ocon. Stroll, Joe, Sebastian Vettel, and Norris, Leclerc, Latifi, Mick Schumacher, and Yuki Tsunoda, Russell, Magnussen, Sainz, they've taken a grid penalty, and Fernando Alonso rounds off the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. and it's fantastic to have you with us here. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. The formation lap gets underway and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead, making sure that their car is ready for the battle once the lights go out. So as all the cars take their positions on the grid, the teams will be hoping their strategies pay off for them in today's race. But the question I'm asking is which teams have got it right, which ones have got it horribly wrong?
Yes, we've done it! That is the world champion right there. Well done. And so the celebrations begin, and well earned they are indeed. It might have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, the at this level at the very top is anything but simple. There's no catching them now, then. We have a new World Drivers' Champion. Another superb Sao Paulo Grand Prix comes to an end, then, and it's a thoroughly deserved victory. Tell me out, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on track was, speed. I know it sounds like an awfully reductive statement, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Charles Leclerc showed exactly how to manage yourself out on the track today. He was almost flawless out there. Incredible stuff. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. No change in the top spot then, but with today's points, their hold on that lead is getting weaker. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport action. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One.